folks, main man like he'll answer more. <clears throat> Boros Energy. Hope you guys are excited for it. I know I am, at least for the time being. Uh, like I said, my name's Lance. More my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTJ, MTJ, and Twitter. So watch this live on Twitch. Please follow Watch this on YouTube. Please subscribe. This video, eight thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Twitter for reasons unknown. That's right. Follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And over to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage, confusion, and even sometimes joy. I always have a disclaimer, of course, though I am not responsible for a sudden increased top deck only lands, being wrecked by Ragavan, or being unable to find my <laughs> unable to find your or my sideboard cards. And that's what's happening to you has nothing to do with me. I always gotta cover your own ass. But as you can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering, although I watch my videos, you may never know that. And when I do play Magic the Gathering, I do prefer to play where the RCQ season is. And we're in the middle, or the very beginning, actually, of a modern RCQ season, which is gonna be very dark times. I'm not really happy what's going on in modern. The One Ring, Bant Nadu, just combos up the ass because of the One Ring. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and I gotta do it, right? It's what we do. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at the weather. We're always excited about that, and summer's over, even though it's August. Uh, weather for Raven Hill is are partly cloudy. The temperature is 75 degrees. The wind is blowing from the west at 4 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 54%. This 75-degree day will be the warmest day for the rest of August. Uh, according to the meteorologists, which are usually wrong, but, you know, we'll see if they're wrong or right this time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a nice, cool summer, so how about that? Uh, let's see here. We have 76 followers on Twitter, so 353 followers on Twitch. There's still 613 subscribers on YouTube, so shout out 56 followers on Twitter. Shout out 353 followers on Twitch. Shout out 613 subscribers on YouTube. And, of course, a massive shout to all four of my Twitch subscribers give me a little bit of the harder money. It's very trying and dangerous times. I really appreciate that. It's going way above me on the Call of Duty, obviously. Spend that money anywhere else and make a lot more sense than here. Uh, I think about I, I thank anybody who watches this live on Twitch or record on YouTube. But I'd like to have a particularly massive, robust, adult-style shout-out for those that will contribute financially. Thank you so very, very much. All righty. So, yeah, we're going to play some more Boros Energy. Uh, this is not a fresh league. I'm currently 1 and 2. After this league gets done, if I can start another one, because these matches take forever because of the one ring. Um, the next list of Boros Energy I'm going to try is going to be a little different. Just see how it goes, see if I messed it up too much. I don't know. Uh, yesterday, Goblin Bombardment did look pretty good. Not going to lie. The card seems pretty strong in this deck, especially if you just go crazy with cats. Um, you know, Bone Crusher Giant being a one of in the main seemed pretty good. Dewdrop Cure, never had it. Uh, I think I had to mull it once. Um, but, you know, it has potential. Uh, really got nothing else to say. Let's get on in there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I can click on it. There we go. You guys know one time I met Reed Duke? Yeah. Good times. You know, Reed is my favorite player. And I don't really watch a lot of content from other Magic players. Uh, not normally. Uh, but Reed is the only pro player I've ever met in real life that actually wanted like talk to me and hung out for a second long enough for me to take an awkward selfie right i'm not good at that kind of stuff so for him to stand there and wait for me to get that shit ready was incredible of him you know most content creator famous magic players they don't even want to talk to you i, I mean i get it they're busy that's basically their job you know but still you know you gotta know that you're a popular person I'm not even a famous player or anything. People come up and talk to me at things. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's pretty rare when that happens, but people say, hey, I know you. So that's always nice. Uh, before I officially reveal Gigantha, I do have to reveal my beverage today. And, folks, it's a good one. It's right in line with what we're playing today. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew Voltage. That's right. We got some energy in a can here. Uh... The blue dude, right? He's even got the mad scientist on the side. I wonder how they chose that. I guess voltage, like Frankenstein's monster, was brought back to life by lightning, or brought to life by lightning. Uh, we all know the official start of the video is beginning. Our card, my beverage is going to happen right now. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yes. All right. Choose Giganta. Uh, Mulligan. I ain't keeping this. Good crap! Uh, Mulligan. This is a lot better. 
heave and put a redundant amped raptor on the box. Having a college seven years ago that Canadian streamed hockey content? What happened, Luke? What happened to you? You all right? Uh, yeah. That's definitely a good turn two as well. Oh, someone recognized you at your college. Okay, I got you. Luckily, nobody's come up to me and, like, hated me. I'm waiting for that to come, too. Most people are just pissed when they see me. A joke I always think about is, what if Reed is, like, not a very friendly person outside of magic, right? Like, what if he's, like, just super mean and aggressive and hostile at all times? What is this? Oh, it's it's Nadu. It's Nadu. All right. Okay. The fun has ended, guys. The fun has officially come to a halt. Do I play Johnny or Ocelot Pride? I think I like a Johnny. Uh, I just, I mean, it, it, it's two creatures for one. I mean, how can you go? I mean, it, 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 essentially, Ocelot Pride is as well. But, because I have the Guide of Souls on the field, but. Can't swing into that. It's a 2 2 now. Like a 1 is surgical lately? Uh, I mean, surgical can never be bad. I mean, what are you surgicaling? The. Nadu? I mean, what what is, uh, you know, I mean, unless you're trying to surgical. My old thing I used to do is I, I thought seize away a uh, 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 primeval titan and then I uh, surgical extraction that. It was pretty disturbing. Game's just over here, right? I think. Why does it do it twice? It's so stupid. Like, what a terrible line of text. What a horrible line of text. Court of calling. BNR come soon. I hope so. There's rumors, Gage, that they're going to hit Energy. Because Energy is the highest performing deck on average on MTGO. However, I have been seeing in paper, Nadu is doing better than anyone else. So just going to sit here. The classic hope in these situations is Johnny, then Raptor, in case you get removal off Raptor. Classic hope in these situations is a Johnny, then Raptor. So what, you blast a cat? You you blast a cat and uh, transform a Johnny and then kill kill the Nadu? I guess, it, yeah, that would work. That would kill Nadu, yeah. What do you ban from energy? Uh, some of you have been saying, like, Flage. <laughs> well, I know, that's the joke, Luke, is this deck takes forever online. But uh, but people have been saying flage, ban flage. Like, are you si ban lightning helix? Like, are you serious? They're like, it's better than lightning helix on a six six body. I'm like, y you normally don't have flage escaping like four times. Well, they they have banned the new mythic. They banned Omnath and Standard. It was the cover monster for the set too in Zendikar Rising. So they can and will do it. But uh, I I don't think anything's going to get banned in energy. That's crazy. Energy doesn't do anything, like, obscene. One fucking anger of the gods ruins everything. Hell, you don't even need anger of the gods. You can just do... Well, yeah, Oko. Well, Oko didn't get... Oko got, took forever to get banned and everything. Thank you kindly, Thet Gage, for the dab redemption. <clears throat> 
Here we are. But, uh... Yeah, Oko took a long time, and they kept acting like that card was fine. They're like, oh, you guys are just crybabies. And then, like, they finally banned it in, what, Standard, Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy? And, like, a year after that, it took a while for it to get banned in all of them. Like, Legacy, I think, took, like, two years for it to get banned. And, and uh, but now, yeah, they talk about Oko. It's, like, one of the worst mistakes they've ever made besides, like, maybe um, Skull Clamp. Uh, I've heard them talk about Deathrite Shaman being a mistake. Uh, yeah, it's just... I'm really convinced that... Particularly in the last five years or so... The people that design the cards do not play the game. Uh, I think they're designed by people that... That don't play competitive Magic the Gathering. Suffity Sentiment, glad you're here. That's weird. Uh, so what do we do here? I mean, he's. I mean, you, you can't even win, right? It's just completely over. I drew another land too, sweet. Well, I guess we just go into the Amped Raptor. Uh, let us get, I guess, a basic planes again. Play this Ocelot Pride. And play Amp Raptor and uh, God knows what. Ugh, so bad at that. Sure. Cast this Ragavan. Uh, swing, swing. Do any of these have reach? No. Oh, this one's got flying. So I guess, I guess we don't attack with this one. It's a three, four. So bad. Oh my god. Yeah, this just becomes a 3-4 as well. It doesn't even make sense, guys. It doesn't even make sense. Oh god. I guess it can swing and... I mean, I can't win this game, so just give it the energy... And then Nadu can block it. Thank you, Fitty Simon, for the sugary beverage sip redemption. I appreciate that. Kids are just running wild out there. Real boring here. You know what's funny is Bombardment, actually. If I would have cascaded into Bombardment, it might have been all right. Gage here says he wanted to see three to four bands and like one unban. Well, I can tell you right now, I'd really want to see the one ring band. I want to see. They'd have to ban a couple cards from this deck, right? They'd have to ban, like, I guess they could just ban Nadu. I guess that would probably solve the problem. Um, That's two. I mean, maybe just for good measure, ban also, like, Shuko. 
Um, unbanning? I don't even know what you could unban. Like, once something goes on the ban list, I'm generally not a favor of it coming off. I mean, I know it's worked out, but, you know, what do you take off? Like, well, Fury, yeah. I mean, I could see Fury. I mean, it'd be... Oh, maybe ban grief, yeah. Um, I don't think they're going to. Um, I, I think uh, I, I'd be down with unbanning Fury. I can't believe they banned Fury instead of grief. It doesn't even make sense what they're talking about. I've talked about that so much. We're like, what the hell happened here? Um, I guarantee you guys the reason why they banned Fury is because they had this Necropotence thing or whatever in the works. They're like, oh man, wait till we get a hold of this. That's gonna sell the set. Um, I I think you could unban, like, it'd still be scary, just because Stoneforge Mystic's around now, like, Umazawa's Jite, like, you could try, but I bet you that gets out of control sometimes, too, and people will be pissed. Yeah, that card was insane, man, at one point. Um, but so is Jace the Mind Sculptor, no one even plays that shit anymore, I don't even know why, like, you get that on the field, your opponent's fucked. They can't remove it after, like, one turn, you're just doomed. Um, but yeah, probably, that's probably a good case there, uh, Gage, Grief. Grief, something in Nadu, probably Nadu itself. Um, and then the One Ring. Probably, I mean, I think how good Fury would be against this deck, too. You know, so that might be another, well, they probably didn't know about this combo this deck kind of had. Um, but Fury would be good anywhere. All right. Let's see if I can remember what to take out here. Uh, the Ragavans are terrible. Like they're straight up bad. Dewdrop, this is no point. Uh, and the Fables are really slow. So Bone Crusher is good. Harsh Mentor is insane. Forked Bolt, maybe. Oh my god. And another Goblin Bombardment. There we go. There we are. Yeah, Fury Unban would be... They're probably not going to do that. I mean, they they rarely have ever banned a card and then brought it off the list. They'd probably just ban it immediately again. They'd be like, you know what? We fucked up again. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Is that That's supposed to be like a couple more weeks, right? I think they said like the 26th or something. They'll uh, maybe do something about all this nonsense. Ugh. I can't keep one Landers. I just I, I think I can find something better. They would never do a snatch steal. Is that a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh yeah, I can keep here. But the again the redundant amp raptor on the bottom. Uh, I think I put that in graveyard. I've already got one. I got two removal here. All right, that's going to die. Now, Fork Bolt is really bad against the Light Halfling. Okay. Guess we get to bolt that too. I guess you can fork bolt. You can just do bolt damage at it. Put Lush Portico in their graveyard. Not a bad draw. Uh, 
All right, swing for two. Wow, they do block it, huh? Oh, what am I doing? I totally fucked up. What the hell? That was stupid as fuck as me. But I think I can still, uh, because I forgot Harsh Mentor for... I haven't cast Harsh Mentor. Literally, it says Omni Cat. I forgot it was a two-mana card. Uh, but I can still kill here, right? Oh my god, is this another fucking Nadu? Alright. Hell yeah! Boom. <laughs> the lighted halfling. Swing for three. Make another one one. Take two. I think Harsh Mentor, even if they ban Nadu, I think Harsh Mentor is still a good card in the sideboard. It just messes with anything that is heavily artifact based or like Yawgmoth based. Like, I think it's a fine card. What is this? What the hell? Well, luckily I have an Amped Raptor. It says, if you do get four energy, then sacrifice that creature unless you pay an amount equal to its... Okay. So... Well, obviously I have to do Amped Raptor first. Guide of Souls, cast it. Uh, Port of Calling. All right, there you go. That's how it's done. I ain't scared of bird monsters. I have battled bird monsters my entire life. Not just in magic, but in real life, too. Uh, I guess it's a little bit weak, but I got the bolts and shit to keep... Keep the acceleration down. Well, I can't kill that. These are the two best decks going at it, right? Boros Energy, Bant Nadu, Necro Dominance deck. Just gotta kill this thing. Uh. 
I just blast with lightning bolt. Oh, yeah. It's so stupid, just equips it again. Right, it's too slow of a clock here. He may not have another land to do the summoner's pack. Eh, I guess I'm completely wrong here. There it is. Pray no burb. Yeah. A lot of burbs. A lot of burbs. I gotta keep killing this thing. What happened? Oh, okay, he did get it. I was like, what? What do you do here? Do you kill this thing? That way you can only get it twice, right? It's so difficult. Okay. Surveil one, Goblin Bombardment. We'll put on top, I guess. I guess. I, he has a collected company, or did I miss a quarter calling? Did I accidentally click that off? I don't remember. Well, I just have to sit here. You have to pay this. Yeah, I should have put Goblin Bombardment on the bottom. Wild kids. This says what? That target creature control. Just target creature. Okay.
See if this does anything. Maybe he'll get... Oh, okay. This this card is really different than what it says on on the text. Do they have a way out? I mean, I don't know. They might. I have no idea. They just gotta gain life or kill harsh mentor. Got one more here. Uh, I sacked him just to, uh, well, I guess I was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I sacked him just because they killed my, uh, they killed my, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Goblin Bombardment. I guess I was dumb. Yeah, because I got to play Gigantha there and... Well, and it swung for game anyways. They have a flyer. I wonder if I just want to give haste to Gigantha. I mean, these are dead for him. I don't think I do. Yeah, I could have gave haste and all that jazz. Yep. So even if I wouldn't have done that, they, the first off, they'd been at four instead of two. Second off, they just would have blocked with Nadu and just played the, the other Nadu they have. Right? Because they would have been able to give Gigantha haste flying, make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. They just would have blocked with Nadu and played another Nadu. And we still would have had the same exact thing happen. Well, I guess we go for it here.
And you just sacrifice the creature, right? Sacrifice a land. Fiend Shroud. But Misty Rainforest in the graveyard. And I can't even bolt them. Man, this format is terrible. <laughs> like, you just can't even do anything. Just constantly just... I mean, I, I played in this in this league. I was played against almost four combo decks. The Ban Energy deck wasn't a combo. Like, it had combo stuff. But it wasn't a true combo. But, I mean... Well, I guess that's not true. Two of the four, I'd say, are combo. But... Uh, the two, two of them I played just had four copies of one ring. Just super boring to play, you know? I mean, it's just like, okay, do your thing. Like, they're gonna have to do something. I don't know what, if they even will, but, oh my god, what the fuck. Oh. But I, I think everybody knows that Wizards of the Coast really should not be doing their own stuff anymore. They need to have, like, a third party come in and look and, uh, you know, test their game for them, I think. Like, not paid shills, but actual, like, people that, that just, you know... Uh, give them the truth and honest feedback and be like, hey, this, this shit's ridiculous. What are you doing?
All right, guys, yeah, so I'm going to go check on my dogs. I'll be back in just a second. I mean, it's more entertainment to check on my dogs than do anything else. Back on in there. But yeah, it's just boring to play in modern. You know, when you play standard and uh, pioneer, you're treated to like interactivity. You're treated to like, you know, combat. You're treated to, you know, thought seizing. And this format, just nothing really happens. It feels like it's just oh, I just lost. You know, it's just it's a really really dark time. I think. I think it's a lot darker than people are wanting to admit because, you know, people are paid corporate shills for Magic the Gathering. And uh, it's really unfortunate to, again, see Modern like this, right? I mean, this happens every single year in Modern. Every single year since 2000, I'd say 19, maybe 18, uh, where it's just every single year. It's just, wow, Modern's all fucked up again. It's all fucked up, but... Wizards is happy about it. I mean, they know that when Modern's messed up, they've made an incredible amount of money. Nothing else matters to them. And what, what I mean, what it matters to any company, right? Except for the cash flow coming in. Um, and we're all responsible for it. Me, you, probably your mom. Uh, it's terrible, but it is what it is. Uh, there it goes. Uh, choose okay. Uh, I mean, I guess I can keep. Got to get a sacred found, or it might, it might be an elegant parlor if they do nothing. Eh, or never mind. That works. I need like Jeskai energy here. Nope. Something else.
Put it on bottom. Swing for one. They exiled an Omnath. If I can get a basic plane, just Blood Moon him. That'd be sick. Oh. All right. Fuck, man. What the hell is going on? Blast him. Come on. Give me a land. I'll take any land at this point. Any land. Any land here. Any land. I guess except for the parlor. Yes. There we go. Force negation. All right, see if their one ring can get them out of this. Cycle. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna discard. Uh, let's go with the dewdrop. How about a flage? Let's uh, swing for two. Let's get this bad boy out of here. I like how my token's in the graveyard right now. Why is it all the way down there? What the hell? Blast him. Oosh. Right, so I got Galvanic Discharge ready. Bone Crusher Giant's pretty nice against the One Ring here. Oh, good. Would they exile another Solitude? Okay. Well, it looks like gained six life. They could be gonna do four. I think they might be dead. Maybe. We'll see. No, 
No, opponent's not giving up. Uh, yeah, just swing for two here. All right, their Omnath gone. Displage them now. See if they die. Well, they do get to draw some more. All right, there we go. Blood Moon, let me tell you what. Uh, yeah, bring in uh, Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern looks good. Uh, haven't seen energy there. There's no energy cards. Um, so I guess I can leave out the, uh, what should we call it? Uh, Sun Cleanser. Celestial Purge probably can't hurt. What to take out here? Maybe, uh, I don't really have anything for this. Like, I, I didn't really think there's a lot of four color, but I guess I'm completely wrong. Um, Lord. Golvanic Discharge. And... Maybe Dewdrop Cure. I don't know. Reveal. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, again, we'll keep. Uh, see if he gets any basics here. Kept that one on top. What happened? Oh, Jesus, a Renin Six. Well, I guess we try to bolt that thing. Even though if it failed, it is just, just amped Raptor goes down. You know, maybe I should Celestial Purge that. Celestial Purge is kind of meant for. Uh, Mm. Yeah, I think I need a Celestial Purge for that. I could have stomped it, but I kind of want to hold up Stomp for... Uh... Oh. Well, again, I'm struggling with lands.
Gotta get rid of that. The amp Raptor doesn't even work with that on the field. Yeah, man. I think I had him if I could just uh, done Blood Moon, you know. I mean, I've been a lot. So I'm just stuck like this, unable to do anything. I I cannot play Amped Raptor into that, right? I mean, the Cascade is the same, right? Nothing working here. Absolutely nothing going on. <laughs> like, uh, sure, game. I guess we'll just keep sacrificing Ocelots to the Renin 6. I don't know. I don't have a clue what the game's trying to tell me here. What is that? There. I right, just flage here, kill the uh because all he's gonna do is I play Blood Moon, he's just gonna bounce it back with the fairy. All right? I'm sorry, I just kill the Ren. That way he can't go off with this. I think it's a better play. Probably got a Solitude, or not a Solitude, a Subtlety, though. I guess not. Go up to twenty three all of a sudden. What do you exile? Wrath of the Skies. I mean, Blood Moon doesn't make any sense anymore, right? I mean, it can't hurt. It keeps off double blue and double green. Let's just say you. He sure does.
Maybe I should have gotten uh, another basic planes. Maybe. He drew a card. It's Omnath gaining four life. I'm down to what fourteen? <coughs> I just display Amp Drafter and a Johnny. Huh. Jeez. All right. Well, let's uh, let's bolt this thing. Wow. Am I just dead? I am just dead. Now matter what I played, I was dead there. Yeah, it just didn't matter what I played. I was dead. Um, Ragavan doesn't seem very good. Is Ocelot Pride any good? I think now you can bring in Galvanic Discharge. Take out Ragavans and an Ocelot Pride. All right, hang on. Give me a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go first. Can't keep that. That's a mole. Wow, that's another mole again. No lands. This deck really struggles, I feel. It's got 22 lands, but I, I, I really struggle with lands. I guess I'll have to keep this. This is really poor. Um, but I guess we'll do that. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Unless they bolt here or something. And for one.
Probably a Renin Six here. Oh, all right. Not very interested in playing uh, Amped Raptor into an empty board. So I will just swing with everybody. Maybe eventually get to swing with everybody. Boosh. Seven permanents coming, hopefully. All right. Okay. Gonna hang out. Gonna hang out and lose. Nice one and four league with Boros Energy. I cannot do well with this deck. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I really don't. Mold of five. Still can't find any more lands. I guess we just kill that. I mean, I can still have one energy left. really sick and tired of this deck just not really working like I don't really get what I'm doing wrong I mean I have to mold a five keep two keep the two lands I get and I can't seem to find any cards to play like it's just like what the fuck how how the fuck does this shit happen you know like for real Well, I just got to get rid of this thing. I left it on top, the card. Play and play like everything out of my deck almost with two lands, you know, so. Yeah. Why not? Oh, that's right. I need a mountain. That's not a mountain. All right, let's see what the Ant Raptor can find. Probably get its subtlety. Oh, no, it made it.
Guide of Souls, all right. Blood Moon would have been sick there. Probably another Wrath of this guy's, yeah. Painful, painful playing this deck. All right, let's do another uh, Amped Raptor. Another Guide of Souls. All right, there we go. There's no reason this guy shouldn't, like, put me away this turn. Gets Misty Rainforest. This goes to town. Yeah, man. Uh, swing for two at Ren. It really doesn't matter, but I just, I can't let him guarantee get this Misty Rainforest. Because this will be drawing three, four, five, seventeen cards a turn now. <laughs> like, it's just so over. Horridly poorly designed card. I want to find who made this. I want to find out what team, what group of people came up with the one ring. I really want to hear what they have to say for themselves. 
Can you explain all this shit to him? I bet you they just flip you off. I bet you they just say, go fuck yourself and buy more of our product, bitch. I guarantee you, if they don't say that to you, that's probably what they're thinking in their head. You know? It's just who they are. They're disrespectful people. You know, the people that make these cards. Just bored to tears playing this format, you know? It's just nothing ever exciting happens in the game, usually. You're just like, one ring, Nadu. It's just so boring to play this all the time. Like, man. I just don't get the appeal of modern anymore. People just eat it up. They just suck it down. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what is the appeal of this format? It's just the same exact cards constantly. In Pioneer, you play against a different deck almost every single match. Every single match. Even in standard, it feels that way. But here, you just don't. You just, like, I don't know. I play against the one ring. You know, I mean, uh, it's just, it's terrible. So, I changed the deck a little bit. Um, here are the changes. Um... No Static Prison, only three Galvanic Discharge. That's for the fourth Flage. Kept Goblin Bombardment. Brought in another Bone Crusher and another Blood Moon. In the side, I got rid of Gigantha. Brought in Sunspine Lynx. I want to try it out. A couple Wear Tears. And a couple End the Festivities at a Fork Bolt. We'll see how bad this is. It can't be any worse than the last one, right? In a one in four league. Um, that marks my third one in four league with this deck. Um, maybe only the second one, actually. I think that one was a two, three eventually. Um, but yeah, this is just an extremely boring format to me. Like I just, I play against the same one ring every game. Like my RCQ, I went to the only RCQ I've been to so far, all six opponents had Four copies of one ring in their deck. All six. Six of them. All six had four. It's disturbing. It's like, <laughs> all right, let's mull again. This looks like a mirror match. I guess I'll keep and put Amped Raptor on bottom. I mean, fuck, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, they're starting out with a Aether Hub. That's different. I guess I will be, too. Or not. I think that's right to bolt that. I don't think give, letting them get energy is very smart. Oh, it's a Mardu version. They shock but do nothing. Graveyard.
Oh, yeah. It might take Blood Moon. I don't know. They're kind of weak to it right now. Yeah, they do. All right. An ocelot pride, all right. Two ocelot prides. This one, all my cats here. Do they have like bolt push? Bolt? I mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we are. That's interesting. I mean, they just let me make a ton of cats. They better get rid of a Johnny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Blood Moon's actually decent here as the Mardu. Um, obviously Sun Cleanser's in. That's huge. Uh, Soul Guide Lantern in. That's huge. And the festivities. That's good. Um, I don't think I wrote anything down particular for Mardu. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on over here? No. What does that do off Boros? Um, I probably don't need three blood moons. Uh, fable, a bone crusher, maybe. I have bring Celestial Purge too. That's the thing that's maybe that's better than I think Celestial Purge is actually better than Soul Guide Lantern. Get a couple more of these. I don't know. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Probably a thought sees. Hell yeah.
Kind of got to take Guidestool, right? I mean, they might take a Johnny. I don't know. I take Guidestool. All right. Hmm, let me get a Johnny. I get a land. Ah, uh, mistake. I should have played Aether Hub. They probably just have uh, Orcish Bowmasters. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Should kill his own cat. Huh. All right. I mean, what do you kill here? Play my own Johnny. How? How can they have the same cards this many fucking times? What? What? <laughs> Three copies of Orcish Bow Masters and 11 cards? What? How? How in the fuck? How can somebody have that? Man, this game's stupid. Fuck, dude, that's ridiculous. This is garbage format, dude. Three in 11 cards. Yeah, what the fuck ever. It is interesting.
what the point of this is. Wow, that's the card I needed. Okay, let's see here. This is just going to peg me still for fucking like six next turn. Well. I mean, I guess I can kill everything. Right? I can do end the festivities and then flage. And the festivities will kill everything. Deal one to this, deal one to that. Yeah. God, deal three damage here. Then try to escape Plage next turn. I have one energy to make red. Give me the haste one. Oh my god, I'm calling these things. Oh my god, dude. Ah! Yes! This format's amazing! Festivities, but that was like I was looking. I was like, I need to end the festivities. That's the only way. And it actually happened. Then I needed the arena glory and and that would have been because I would have gotten the obviously I would have gotten hasted and everything. I've done three damage, three damage, and swing for six at the Johnny. That's crazy. Wow. Well, it's the greatest format ever. <laughs> I guess that guy had all of his luck at the beginning, right? Where he had three bow masters and eleven cards, and I managed to overwhelm him with the. Uh, that was nuts. That was absolutely nuts there. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for me today. Uh, let me know what you think about this here fine list. Um, I think it, I'm kind of trying to play it where I like. You know. Um, cards I like. Like, Blood Moon looks like it's like one of the strongest cards in the format. So I don't know why I was only playing two. I, I like three. I think four is a little excessive. Starts hurting the rest of the deck. Static Prison I've been a fan of because of uh, it, it just it drains your energy so hard. Bone Crusher Giant in the main. I mean, there's so much one ring. I'm just so tired of it. And Sunspine links. I want to play it just to uh, make sure that uh, I mean it, it. It can be a non-bow, right? Like if you blood moon them, then sunspine sunspine links will not be able to activate its price of progress ability. But damage can't be prevented. It's a five four. Um, you know it, it. It's just good. You know you can't gain life either. It does deal damage to you. But if you're playing, usually I have a lot of life, it feels like, with this deck until I'm, I'm like, dead. So I think I could withstand the blast from the Sunspine Links. I mean, some decks are really going to struggle. It's going to take, like, five, you know, just boom, just five right to the dome. And they got to deal with a 5-4. Uh, and they can't gain any life, and damage can't be prevented. So I'm going to see, you know, uh, if it's any good. Just a one copy. If, you know, it puts in work. And I know some people are like, well, you you can't usually... It's a disaster if you do turn two uh, Amped Raptor and you, you exile it. Yeah, it is. It is a, a disaster. But I'm willing to try the card. I think it's really interesting and I, I think it's neat. And I'd love to see it just do some serious damage. Goblin Bombardment still look good today. The one copy. Um, 
yeah, Flage always looks good. <laughs> that's like honestly the best card that's not like an insane combo piece for Modern Horizons 3. All right, everybody. Well, let's do some shout outs here. Uh, let's see. Shout outs to uh, Thek Gage, the Luke Man 98, Fitty Sentiment, and the MTG Bot and the Night Bar Creamy Company. Really appreciate that, guys. Uh, if you did watch this live on Twitch, please consider following. Watch this on YouTube. Please consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitter for reasons unknown. Uh, everyone, I will be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Big Time, with this list. Going to try and finish off the league. Going to try and play four matches tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, you will join me for that good goodness. Um, everyone, stay safe out there. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverage. Spend time with your loved ones. A lot more important than hanging out with me. And hope to see you here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Boros Energy action. Everybody, peace!